everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Please let me know. Please let me know. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Okay. I think we're good. Maybe. <laughs> you guys comment and let me know if you guys can hear me. You guys can see me okay. Uh, before I start rambling. Let me know. Let me know. Hmm. Okay. So I think we're good. I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So you guys can hear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Let me mute this. How's everyone doing today? Uh, me, I'm a bit tired. I don't know why, but I'm a bit tired, uh, but grateful and happy. Let's see who's here. Um, the Yao, Yao, the Yao. I've never seen you here. Thanks for joining. Um, I see the Scented Swordsman, Chris. Thanks for coming by. Yara, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me tonight. Wait, I can click on these. I, every time I do one of these, I forget how to do them. <laughs> so here's Yara. Okay, so you can hear me, you can see me. I bet you guys are like, hey, we can hear you. Hey, Hills, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Zach, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Um, hi, Patricia, welcome. And Chanel, no, that's not Chanel, this is Chanel. <laughs> Hope you're well. Hi, Corey. Thanks for coming by. Um, thank you. It was kind of the last minute. Um, I just recently got a few things. So I wanted to share kind of like a collective haul in a way, uh, stuff that I've been accumulating over the past, I don't know, few weeks or so. Hey, JC. Happy New Year to you too. Happy New Year to everyone. I think this is my first live since the new year. So happy 2021, guys. Hey, Sunflower, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys spending time with me today. I know it's kind of late, um, but you know, we're out here. We're out here at any time. Uh, let me just make sure. <gasps> Did I see that right? What? So that's one of the ones that I'm talking about today is Tiger Tiger. I got my in last week. Um, what do you think about it? Or maybe we'll get to that later. I don't know. What do you think about it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, yes, please like the video while you're here. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Yeah, the paintings are my sister's. She's uh, she's an artist. She loves to draw and paint. She's the only one in our family with like an art gene. All of us, I can barely draw. I can barely write, okay. Uh, but she's very, very talented. Uh, this is just a tapestry though. But those, the two over there, she actually painted. Um, hey, Bashan, happy New Year's to you too. Welcome. Yes, uh, JC, my favorite perfume. I mean, it's one that I talk about all the time, but it's Francesca Bianchi's Under My Skin. Sorry. <laughs> happy New Year's to you, Patricia. Thanks again. Okay, so let's go ahead and get things rolling and just make sure I have everything up and the way I like it because I'm I'm kind of OCD about these kind of things. I like to have certain windows a certain way. Um, okay, so I think but here I am. Yes. Okay, so you're enjoying it's only been on the skin for like an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sweeter than I thought. Or it was sweeter than I expected, I guess. I don't know why, but I didn't expect it to be as sweet and it's very fruity. I also didn't expect it to be that fruity, but it works and I love it. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay, that's better. Um, hey, Heather, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Uh, yeah, I wear, you know, men's fragrances too. I don't really um, limit myself um, to fragrances based on how they're advertised. So yeah, I wear men's fragrances. One of my favorite men's fragrance or male marketed fragrance is Chanel Antaeus by Sh Sh Chanel. <laughs> Chanel Antaeus for Ohm. Um, I love that. It's one of my favorites and I think it smells very unisex on my skin. So yes. Hey, Erica, welcome. Thanks for coming. Uh, so would you wear Tiger Tiger if you had to go on a camping? <gasps> Good one, Yara. <laughs> Good one. I don't think so. I think it, it smells too edible or too sweet and like sticky and delicious. So I think that would maybe attract them, but not in a way that's to my advantage. So no. <laughs> okay. Yes. Lucky Scent does have Francesca Bianchi. Yes, they do. Um, that's also a really good point. Is the tiger or is the mountain lion, is he, is he hot? Then maybe my answer will change. <laughs> Hey, Jay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. So like I said, I want to share a few things that I've been receiving as of late and a few gems that I picked up along with some samples that I received today from um, Lucky Scent. So I'm excited. Um, <laughs> okay, so he is hot. Then okay, then yes, I would wear Tiger Tiger. Absolutely. Or under my skin, because, you know, that's my seductive scent. So maybe that one, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, question, these things have to be asked. I need to know in order to give a well-thought-out, thorough answer, you know? Okay. So I have a box here of, like, random stuff. But I guess I will just start off with these, because I'm really excited about these. Um, I think this is a newer release. I don't know the, the specifics, but it's from, I'm trying to get them facing the right way, sorry. Uh, by Mosk Milano. Uh, these are the three travels, okay, here we go. The, tree, the three travel sprays that I ordered uh, directly from them, they had a deal over the holidays where you get three for discounted rates. Um, so we have Petra, Madeline, and Dolce Aqua. Um, so far, so good. I'm not, you know, I'm not mad at it. I did wear Petra yesterday as my scent of the day. Was it yesterday? Yesterday was my, yes, I wore Petra yesterday um, as my scent of the day. And let me know if you guys have tried this. I think this is kind of like a re-release um, after, I don't know, like 10 years or so. Um, oh, we have a question. Is under my skin a safe blind buy? Um, what do you guys think, those who have experience with uh, under my skin? I personally don't think any Francesca Bianchi fragrances are blind buy or safe blind buys. I think you should definitely try to get your hands on a sample set um, because a lot of them can be polarizing. There are a few people here on the chat who have tried Francesca Bianchi, so I think they would agree with me on that. But, you know, you guys let me know. Um, so yeah, Petra. If you guys have tried Petra, let me know because I think it smells, especially in the opening, just like Coco Mademoiselle. Um, let me spray it just to remind myself. It doesn't stay that way though. It does kind of venture and does its own thing. Oh, guess what guys? I got legit test strips. So no more limp uh, computer paper. <laughs> so let's get this opened. Okay, so yeah, here we go. I feel so legit now. Before I used to cut um, like computer paper, just like white paper. And when I'd spray them, they'd go limp. But now it stays erect. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, well, not kidding, I'm serious. Yes, yeah, so Jay says don't um, blind buy. I agree. Uh, Yara says if you like sticky dark scents, then yeah, go for it. But I believe you should sample. Yes, exactly. Exactly. No safe. No. Glorious, but not mass appealing. Very, very. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, I'm legit. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, see? Okay. Yeah, it seems like everyone is kind of um, on the same, you know, what am I trying to say? The same. Never mind. What is this? TWSS. I don't know what that is. 
Yes. Yes. No one wants a limp test strip, right? Okay. So I hope my mom is not watching this. If you are a mom, go ahead and comment. Say something. Let me know you're here. So yeah, if, yeah, Petra smells in the opening exactly like Coco Mademoiselle, but it has a little bit of darkness and depth, which I think there's a leather note in here and also some incense. And just like Coco Mademoiselle, it has some fruity notes and some patchouli. But when it dries down, it does, you know, go in a different direction. And I would say if you thought that Coco Mademoiselle was too... Because for me, I had Coco Mademoiselle and I think it smells great. But the only thing is Coco Mademoiselle smells like everybody else. I feel like if I go anywhere, someone's wearing Coco Mademoiselle. When I smell it, it reminds me of other people I knew who wore Coco Mademoiselle. So I decided to get rid of it, even though it's a nice scent. But, you know, I don't want to smell like someone else, right? I don't know about you guys. But this here, I feel like, is the Coco Mademoiselle for me because it has that edgy dark side to it which is very very pleasant so Petra I'm really happy that I have it and I can't wait to try it and all three of these by the way were blind buys there was a deal and I couldn't resist so that's what she said exactly there you go thank you uh yeah hi mom if you're if you're watching I don't know if she is she sleeps early so I don't know okay so the next one that I have is uh, you guys let me know if you've tried any fragrances from uh, Mask Milano. I don't know if I said that earlier. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't, she's not in the chat yet. I don't know if she's watching. She may be watching. She said she would, but she also sleeps early because she works really early in the morning. Uh, so she may or may not be here, but she's not in the chat, at least not yet. Really? <laughs> so you don't like Francesca Bianchi, girl. We're all here. We are all Francesca Bianchi lovers, and we love that animalicness too. At least most of us do. I do. So, okay. So you like Petra? I agree. It's way better than Coco Mademoiselle because it has that darkness, a bit of smokiness um, that I, I really enjoy way, way, way more than the regular Coco Mademoiselle. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, just, you know, be yourself. <laughs> okay, so the next one is uh, Dolce Aqua. And I remember when I first tried Dolce Aqua, I was, it reminded me of like a hair product. Uh, but when I sprayed it on skin, it was much, much better. And I, I guess, should I look up the notes to these? I guess I should. Um, so here, Ugh, let's see. Shout out to mom. <laughs> No, be yourself. She wouldn't mind. She doesn't mind. She's like, how can you guys talk for that long about fragrances? I'm like, well, I don't know. We just can. <laughs> she doesn't get it, but she supports me. So that's that's all that matters. Okay. I haven't tried either of those, but I heard Russian tea was nice. Yeah. Okay. So this is Dolce Aqua, which is supposed to mean uh, sweet water. In Italian, I actually have another fragrance called Dolce Aqua by Perfume Roma, but they don't smell like, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, so th it actually smells better now, but it still has a little bit of um, hair product smell to it. But on the skin though, on the skin it is so much better, so much better. Let me see if I can find the notes here. Let me open up my Fragranticus. Dolce Aqua, okay, here we go. So Dolce Aqua, Mm, yeah, it's very floral. So it has notes of, it has sea notes, ivy, lily of the valley, majorum. I'm not I'm not familiar with that. Almond blossom, mimosa, ylang ylang, white rose, Indian, saffron, Virginian cedar, siam, benzoin, oak moss, and musk. So like I said, on the paper, it's okay. It's okay on the paper, but on skin, it does develop much nicer. Um, Yes, let's see. Oh, we have some more people here. Hey, Leah, welcome. There you go, hi. Hey, Bryce, how's it going? Um, okay, so it's going on the list. Yeah, I think I'll try it and 
find a sample. Perfumology is um, an independent, or I guess, I guess a family owned small perfume store and they carry Mass Milano and he does do samples. So I've gotten a few samples uh, from him and he's really sweet. Hey Bryce, everyone say hi. <gasps> Lucky sent ship today? What did you order? Tell us, please. Good morning. How are you? Welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> hey, T-Blue, welcome. I'm glad you're able to make a live. You always come at the end, you're like, oh, darn it, and then you watch it in the playback. So I'm glad that you're here. Um, yeah, everyone's saying hi, hi, hi. Hi, Maria, welcome. How are you, how are you? Also, I'm, how rude of me. What are you guys wearing? What is your scent of the day? Let me know. Yeah, Dolce Aqua is really nice. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so T Blue says, yeah, it's um, I think it's Acro, Acro Awake. Um, Chris actually loves Acro Awake as well, so he'll tell you about it. You know, so you guys don't think I'm just making it up, but it's it's a fantastic coffee fragrance. Hey Jay Z, welcome to the party. I'm glad you're able to come. Oopsies. Iris cannot. Okay, so I know you and Yara both like Iris in your fragrances. And I'm actually, I hate to say, well, do I hate to say it? I don't know. But I tend to struggle with Iris fragrances or fragrances that feature Iris. Um, but it's, I'm starting to come around, but I still cannot tolerate makeup y Iris. That, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But I, right now, I can tolerate powderiness very slightly, but not makeup -y. And I actually have a couple fragrances that are slightly powdery, so I was surprised at how much I like them, at least first impression-wise. Um, Black Phantom, awesome. I'm smelling real sweet. Eternity by Calvin Klein from Men, nice. See, the best coffee frat. I think what makes it so good is the fact that it's so wearable. I have other coffee fragrances that the coffee is kind of not really there. Like it's there, but it's not the star of the show. And then I have another coffee fragrance that can be considered unwearable because it's a little bit animalic and very leathery and very smoky. So yeah. Um, Acro is just, it's very pleasant. I think everyone would like it if you like coffee fragrances. Ooh, by Inicio, right? Nice. Okay. Oh, by Givenchy. I actually don't know if I've, wait, I may have a sample that Lulu gave me. I know she just posted a video about some of those. <gasps> Why don't you look at that? I do have it. I can't remember what I thought of it, but I do have it. I'll have to, to sample it again just to jog my memory. Yeah, samples are great. Well, are they? Sometimes I feel overwhelmed when I look at my, do I have my box with me? I have a box that's like filled to the brim with samples and I don't know what to do with them. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, Leighton and by the fireplace, nice. Yeah, you can um, just be nice because you know, I'm still, I'm getting there. I'm not all the way there. So you can send me like beginner level iris fragrances, please, 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 please. Girl, that has been on my try list forever, but it's so hard to find. When I see stores that have like the fragrance for sale, it's usually sold out and they don't have samples. So, mm. I want to try it so bad. I, and also, it's a sheep. And you know, you guys know I'm obsessed with them. So I have to. I have to. Yes, Heather, you will love it. Um, yeah, I'll have to try it later and then I'll I'll share it. Um, what we do in Paris that wore to sleep last night. Oh, yeah, because it's morning where you are. I don't know. I think I've heard about this, but who is that by? Could you could you tell me? Um, Chrome Legend. I'm not familiar with that, but I think that, is that Azaro? I think it's Azaro. I've tried Azaro Chrome and it's very nice, very nice. 
Ooh, I did see your post today. Yeah, oud vanilla. I still haven't tried that one, but I've heard amazing things. Thank you, because I will choke. That's what she said. <laughs> I really hope my mom is not watching this. <laughs> oh my God. Um, wait, wait, wait. Scormandel, fantastic fragrance. I love it. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Cafe Cabanel, I haven't tried it, no, but it's kind of been on my try list. I had an opportunity to buy it from someone, but I was hesitant because of how coffee fragrance, some coffee fragrances can be very lacking in the coffee. So I decided not to blind buy it, but I do still want to try it. How was the coffee note in that one? Is that a strong coffee note? What do you think? <laughs> no, she'll be gentle. I like a gentle touch. Um, really? How do you like it? That's one of my favorite uh, Frederick Malls. How do you like Portrait of a Lady? I know that one can also be polarizing. So yes, yes. Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, Oud Bouquet. Huh, interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes, okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, hi, Michelle. I didn't know you were in grad school. I don't know. Well, good, good for you. Good for you. I had dreams of going to grad school once. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think I'm caught up kind of. I always fall behind in these comments. Hey, Indecent, welcome. How are you? Yes, try it, try it, try it, try it. If you like patchouli, it's a very soft, airy patchouli rather than like a dense, dark, um, deep patchouli, which is why I like it, because it's one that you can wear literally anytime, anywhere. It's great. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a strong coffee. Then, I mean, I, I hear good things, so I still want to try it and see. Um, hey, D'Angelo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Anicia, I don't know what that is. Sir Al -she Shayla. I'm sure it's good, though. I'm sure it's great. Uh, don't do it. It's too late now. I'm not going back to school. <laughs> I've been gone for too long. Okay, I think I am caught up. Yes, everyone's saying hi. Great. So I've talked about Petra. I've talked about Dolce Aqua. I really like Pe Yeah, this is... Pe oh, it's so good. It's so good. The last one out of this trio is called Madeline. And it's like a, um, a gourmand fragrance. So it's very nutty. I think it has like chestnuts and a bunch of other things in it as well. Um, but let me remind myself. I hope to, I mean, I'm doing a live now, but I was hoping to do like a thorough review on these three to see, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one, if you like gourmands, you would love this. Hey, Tara, welcome. What the hell? I'm going to write a letter to the YouTubes and tell them. Thanks for coming by. I know you're tired. I know, I know, but thanks for coming by. Um, let's see. What else is here? Mm, rum. I'm so scared of rum fragrances, but I'm sure that one's nice. Thank you, we appreciate you. Okay, so yeah, this one is a very nutty fragrance. It's sweet. And this one is, you know, a lot of times I would describe a fragrance as semi gourmand or kind of gourmand or kind of edible, but not completely gourmand. This is like through and through a gourmand. Let me look up the notes here. It is, what is it called? Madeline. 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 Okay, so it has, oh, it's electronic. Maybe that's why I like it so much. It's chestnuts. Um, whipped cream, cumin, cypress, geranium, tuberose, vanilla pod, tonka bean, milk, and musk. I think that's why I, I like it so much because it has that milky note. And I've come to realize that I like fragrances with a milky note just make me happy. Like Remember Me by Javoy has a milky note and I, I love it to death. Uh, Orla by the January Scent Project also has a, milk, a milky note and I freaking love it. Um, so I think that's why I really like this one because it has that milky, creamy, nutty. Mm. 
I love this one. I love <gasps> My sister is here. Hi, sister. Welcome. Is mommy watching, by the way? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if mommy's watching. She's with my mom, so let me know. Yes. So, okay, Heather, I know, I know, I know, but it's at least on the strip, I've worn it on skin and it wasn't, it didn't stick out to me. And on paper, it also doesn't stick out to me. So I think this is something you should try for sure. But it's, it's not like a BO human at all. And yeah, yeah, no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, see, yeah, the cumin will throw people off. I know, I know. And for me, cumin is a very hit or miss note. Sometimes it's brilliant in the fragrance and other times it's very B.O. But in here, I think it's it's done really nicely and it's, 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 it's nice. Don't worry about it. Also, my mom's watching, guys. <laughs> She's watching. <laughs> so you guys be nice, be nice. Okay, do, 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 do. I have not tried Zerzhov Cruz Del Sur 2 or 1. I don't know if there's a 1, but I haven't tried either of them. Um, but the Lancome Lavandus Trianon, um, coming soon. Yes, so yeah, exactly, Indecents. Uh, sometimes it could be really nice. Yeah. What's this? Oh, shit, I just missed a bunch of stuff. Okay. Yes, that one I have a sample and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And hopefully I can get it. It's great. It's really nice. I didn't think I would like it based on the, the fruity notes because like they said it's a fruity, milky fragrance. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But when I got the sample, it's actually quite nice. See, sister, everyone's saying hi. See? Everyone's saying hi. Welcome, welcome. It does sometimes, but not always, D'Angelo. Don't always write it off. Give it a chance. It's not B.O. here. Mm -mm, it's not. Actually, that's the wrong one. Nope, that's the wrong one, too. Yep, that's it. It's not B.O. <laughs> See? Hi. Everyone's saying hi to mom and sissy. Okay, so Tara says the same thing, that milky notes don't work on her skin. I think it, it works very well for me. Um, so I'm happy. <laughs> hey, Hope Bella. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so best manga opening ever. We dry it almost like a mouse. <gasps> that sounds delicious. I need, I need to try it. Okay. I, Hills, have you tried uh, Remember Me? Cause that's a good question, but I know it's it kind of, they're not the same because Remember Me is not fruity and it looks like Cruz del Sur is, um, but I wonder how the Milky Note compares. That's a good one. Hi, Teresa, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so yeah, those, oh, I just missed something. Hey, Mario, welcome. Welcome to the party. Um, what are you guys doing? Uh, if you're watching, go ahead and like the like the video. It's probably my mom. My mom is probably one that didn't like it. Mommy, like the video, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, thanks, Heather. Okay, so the Milky Nut is, sh okay, so stronger. Okay. Okay, so I might like it, even though I'm very particular when it comes to fruity fragrances, but I know Zershoff makes great sense, so. I wouldn't be opposed to trying that at all. Okay, so they're not similar. Okay, cool, great. Okay, so since we're on the Mosque Milano train, um, well, before I, I move on, I just want to show. So these are all three of them together. Um, I know Tara just recently got a, a few travel sprays as well. I hope you're enjoying yours. But so far, I'm enjoying all of mine, um, especially the Gourmand one. I would say if I had to rank them, it'll be the Madeline, then Petra, then Dolce Aqua. I think they're very, very well done. And it's kind of just the first, I mean, I've only tried a few from Mosque Milano. The next fragrance I'm going to talk about is also a Mosque Milano one. Um, okay, so totally different directions. Well, that's good to know. Mm. 
YouTube is tripping. They're, they're slacking. They're slacking. Okay. Yeah. You need to get my, I think you will like it. I think you will like it. Okay. So the next fragrance is also Masuana. I recently got this a really good deal. Um, is Tango. I sampled this, um, when I, I actually requested a sample from Perfumology with an order and ooh, it was great. It, I loved it so much. I had to get a bottle. They're very tiny. Um, and they're not that expensive in the smaller size. Once you go bigger, then yes, it gets it gets up there. But um, okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I need to try. another mask model that I recently tried is Mandela. That one, guys, if you like incense fragrances, Mandela. I think it's Mandela, and it's made by is it Christian Cabanel, who's the nose behind that one. Anyway, Mandela is a stunning, stunning incense fragrance, and I need it in my life. I just have to wait. <laughs> But it's great. Okay, so yeah, Tango, very beautiful amber fragrance. Let me spray. I feel so fancy with my new test strips. I should have got this a long time ago. Ooh, okay, so. Mm. So this one actually reminds me slightly. It kind of has a similar DNA to Javoy fragrances, and maybe that's just me kind of making that up in my head because Cecile, what do you say her name? Cecile Zorokian is the nose behind this one. And remember me, not saying they smell the same, but this smells a lot like Javoy for some reason, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. The who? Yeah, it's the Luca Turt. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's that's it. <laughs> Their designer. <laughs> yeah, she made Petra too, exactly. Um, I think she made Aunt. No, did she make Ani? Did she make Ani? I think she made Ani. She made a... Is, oh, her name was not on it. But I think she made Ani. She made many... Sorry, I need to stretch out my legs. Ow, I'm getting old. Um, she made Ani and a few other fragrances that we love. But this here, Tango, is a beautiful amber fragrance. Very spicy but very smooth. To me, when I smelled it, like I said, it reminded me of something Javoy made. And I don't want to say it reminded me of um, Psychedelic by Javoy, but kind of. But Psychedelic is obviously a patchouli fragrance. And this supposedly doesn't have patchouli. I think it may have patchouli in it. But according to the note break, then if I remember correctly, it does not have patchouli in it. Let me pull it up real quick. Tango. Okay, so it has, mm, it's so good. Amber, cumin, there's cumin again, but it's not B.O. at all. At least not to me. Well, there is something in there that's like, I don't want to say it gives it a, a stank, but no. I think this one's very alluring, actually. Uh, cumin, tonka bean, benzoin, cinnamon, cardamom, gaiac wood, sandalwood, melly lotus. I don't know what that is. Cedar, Turkish Rose, and Jasmine Sandback. But this one is great. This was, for me, a love at first sniff. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Ani, uh, Petra is beautiful, beautifully funky. It does have that dark smokiness in there that I really do love. So, yeah, it's a great one. Psychedelic, you know what? Who's the nose behind Psychedelic? Do you guys know? I'm going to check because... Oh, this, I just can't stop smelling this. It smells so good. Okay, so yeah, it's a different person. Oh. Yeah, I, I want Psychedelic so bad. Yeah, this one is great. I know it's a well-loved fragrance. Um, But yeah, so <clears throat> that one was Mask Milano's Tango. I love the bottle, even though a lot of it is like wasted space. Um. The engineer in me is like, what is this? How come we can't utilize this? <laughs> Make it more efficient. Uh, but I think the whole design aesthetic is very lovely. And it has like the name of the perfumer and the fragrance on it. I think it's great. What I do want to research up though is what this means. The whole like three and four. I know it's like act and scene or something. But I need to read up on it to see what it's about. Because I'm very curious. Yeah, psychedelic is great. Cecile made narcotic, neurotic, 
by Laboratorio. Oh, Foxy, well, you should check it out. I haven't tried any from that brand, actually. I've seen them around, but I've never, I've never tried it. Mm, yeah. Okay, so I'll stop moaning about these. <clears throat> okay, so if you are on my Instagram or you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you'll see that I recently picked up my first fragrance from um trying to break my back. Um, what's this? Nikolai Parfumia Creatier. This one. Um, and I fell in love with it and now I'm on this like Nikolai hole <laughs> and Lucky Scent has them and the smaller bottles are quite affordable so they're ones that I don't mind blind buying because if I don't like it it's not like I spent you know a bunch of money on them but I picked up I picked up a couple a few so I want to talk about them one of them when I ordered this one they sent me a sample of which is the Cure Cuba. They sent me a sample of this when I ordered this and I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. So I got this one along with Amber Cashmere Intense and Rose Pivion, Pivion, I think is how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But both of these fragrances have the notes of iris and violet. So like I said, I'm trying to work my way up to appreciating um, Iris and violet, although purple flowers usually, you know, aren't my thing because they can come off quite powdery. But I tried these when I received them and they're actually pretty nice. So I want to share a little bit about them. Um, ooh, you're taking us in the shower? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, okay, so yeah, it's so good. It's so good. So, so good. Um, let's see. Okay, I know you, I know you love Iris, Tara. Um, me, I was saying earlier how I'm trying to learn to appreciate Iris. And it's not, I, I don't think I hate Iris. I just don't like it when it's done in a super powdery way or when it's done in a very like makeup y lipstick way. I can't like with every ounce of my being, I hate lipsticky fragrances. I just, I just cannot. Um, but these, these are okay. These are okay. An impression house. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it? Maybe that's what I need to get. I've heard of genre parfums, but I haven't tried them yet. I think Devin is the the guy who's in charge of it. Um. But I haven't tried, I know with ordering with them it can be kind of complicated because I have like certain windows where ordering is open and if you miss it, then you miss it. And yeah, so I never got an opportunity to try. Um, Have you tried Panthea or Panthea Iris? SHL, what's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Sorry, SHL. No, I don't know. Okay. New York Intense is one that I want because I do love Fougeres and I've heard it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, same, 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 same. Okay, so I know Winter, uh, you do have experience with genre parfums. I don't even know what that is. Violet Nuit Bluey. I probably sound so ignorant right now. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't tried any from her, but I like her bottles and I'm very curious. So maybe one of these days. Okay. Is it is it um is it powdery? I'm curious. And welcome, Mark. I didn't say hi. I didn't see you come in until now. Um yeah, I'm curious about the that house, Stefan Umbert Lucas. I don't know if I said that right. Um, but okay, so out of all, out of the two that I blind bought, which are the cashmere intense or the amber cashmere intense and the rose pivion, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, so forgive me. Um, I'm very surprised by this one. This was uber cheap because it's an eau de toilette, um, but it's like a clean, sparkly rose fragrance. 
and it's so pretty. It's such a pretty row. It's very simple. Uh, thankfully, they have the notes written here, I think. Let me see. So like I said, it's an EDT, and it's a 30 ml bottle, so, you know, very easy to use, I guess. It, you can just throw it in your bag. Uh, so it has notes, top notes of amber seeds, raspberry, black currants, and bergamot. Uh, middle notes of rose, pelargonium, um, violet, peony, iris, black pepper, and base note of sandalwood, incense, and musk. This is like signature scent worthy. Let me spray it on another. Damn, you go through a lot of scent strips. When I was using paper, it didn't feel like it, but this, like I actually paid money for them and I feel like I'm going through them too, too quickly. So let's, let me put a couple here. Yeah, this one is just like, this scent really does whatever it does to really showcase rose in a beautiful way. And it does have that powdery iris in it, but it's not overbearing. It's just like very, like a, you know, like a sprinkle of powder. It's not like, it's just, just a little bit. But it's so, it smells sophisticated. It smells mature. Um, and when I say mature, I mean like, a person who has experienced life, a person who knows what they like, um, who's assertive, but it's very feminine as well. Oh, I love this. I'm so happy I got this. And I, I can see myself wearing this like almost every day. I feel like I would wear this every day in the spring. Mm. It's, it's, and it has this tartness, like a, yeah, there's fruit in it, but there's something tart. I don't know if it's a black currant or the raspberry. I don't know. But it's it's just, it's juicy. It's sweet, but fresh. Like a sparkling, fruity rose. This one's is fantastic. I feel like I've, I'm behind now. Let me get back. Hi, Abraham. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Mason Violet, I have four samples of theirs and love them all. So is it Maison Violet? Do all their this is probably a dumb question, but do all their fragrances have violet in it? <laughs> okay, so I, I know you have and I remember you featured uh some bottles, a bottle or two, I can't remember on one of your lives with Hills. Um the bottles look really cool. Um, but yeah, I've never tried it. Okay, so Doha, I have no idea, but I'm sure it's good. Because they're expensive, aren't they? I think they're expensive. Unui Nomad. Oh, you guys are fancy. Okay, so that's what it is. Mortal skin, yeah, and mamba. Yeah, you guys are you guys are fancy. I don't even know what all this is. Taklam Taklamakan. That sounds cool. Um, the nets for oh, yeah, I'm not spelling it right. Oh, okay. So I think I saw Tara spell it uh, correctly down there. You can use one. So true. I'm gonna do that. But then, what am I gonna? Good idea, Corey. Thanks. Okay. See, I, I don't, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know any of that. Okay, so let's see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so Acroic. I hope you found it. Oh, you're spelling it wrong. That's why you can really. I think Lucky Sense has it. I think Lucky Sense has uh, Acro Awake. Um, make sure. I'm good. Um, okay. Mm. Anyway, this one is just, I'm shocked by it. Because I thought it was going to be a very man fragrance. But because it was so cheap, I was like, eh, well, you know, I'll get to try more of the house. I'm very intrigued by them. But this one's just great. It's just, it's great. It's simple, everyday, wearable, signature scent worthy for sure. Um, the other one is Amber Cashmere Intense. So when I sprayed this on my skin, I went through, it was like a roller coaster ride because I went through bouts when I liked it. And then I was like, no, it has that slight lipstickiness that I don't like, but the dry down that completely goes away and it actually smells really good. And I was, I was thinking or assuming that this is going to be kind of a gourmand scent. I don't know why. The notes on this note, that's the rose one. 
The nose on Amber Cashmere Intense is black pepper, mandarin, lemon, iris, violet, clove, vanilla, labdamum, uh, benzoin, tonka bean, patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and amber. Um, yeah, so Lucky Scent does have acro. Hey, Fractastico, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no, 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 no. So you can get discovery sets, I think, from Acro's website. I'm not sure what the shipping is like because they're shipping from uh, Paris or from France. I got my bottles from France, but I was at the time living in the UK. So it was kind of at the beginning of lockdown. So I remember it taking forever, but I don't know what the international shipping is like, but I would recommend for sure trying to get some samples first because they have a really good line. I think they have like five or six uh, fragrances. So I'm going to spray this one just to remind myself, but it smells really good. But then, okay, so this is what, do you guys ever experience this when you smell something and you're like, oh, it smells good. But as you continue to smell it and right before you stop sniffing, you're like, wait, I don't know. Like something about it. It's like when you sniff too hard or too deeply, it just, you start noticing certain things that you don't like about it. That's how I felt with this one for the opening of the fragrance when it was on my skin. But towards the end, it was okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you remember that? That was so long ago. That was like in August, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun one. I was just packing and just talking. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you guys, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but, oh, Memory Motel. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this one, Amber Cashmere Intense, is one that I think I'm going to have to spend a little bit more time with. The Rose one was Instant Love. This one, like I said, it was like a roller coaster ride where I went through bouts where I loved it and went through bouts where... I was confused. So yeah, and that's my fault. I should have known because I think even on Fragrantica, it says like one of the main accords is powdery and it's like at the top. Uh, let me make sure that's correct. I did it to myself. I do it to myself. Why? I don't know. And it's amber cashmere. Why is it not showing cashmere? Hello? Why is it not showing up here? Oh, it's my amber wrong. It's amber. They, they should know what I'm talking about. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, powdery is like the second one under amber. So I, I should have known. But again, I think I'm going to give it some time to see if it grows on me. Um, Yeah, we'll see. And the Cure Cuba one, I haven't opened this one yet because I still have my sample. But I think I'll end up gifting my sample to someone because it's people need to smell it. People need to try it. How do you, okay. I am slow. Do I have scissors around here? No. Okay, here we go. Okay. Pine words perfumes. Huh. Have you guys heard of it? Has anyone heard of this one? I've never heard of it. But it looks like I'm going to have to do some research. That sounds interesting. Pine word perfumes. I have to be careful with the uh, boozy ones, though. Okay, so Michelle. Michelle. Michelle's a plug. She knows everything. She knows everything. So this is a Cure Cuba wine. Although, also, if you're not familiar with the packaging of the Nikolai perfumes, the 30 mils come in a box like this. I'm assuming the 100 mil comes in just a, a, a taller box. <laughs> and um, it has like a magnetic clasp or a magnetic closure here with the ribbon, you just go boop. And then you have this little paper pamphlet thing that has the notes written in the middle or inside, which is really nice and convenient. And then your fragrance sits like so. So Cure Cuba, I already know I like it. Um, I sampled it and, it, oh wow, why is a sticker like that? I hate when that happens. The sticker is like hanging over the thing. Okay, so 
Okay, this one's gone. <laughs> Great minds. I'm jealous. I want one. Hey, Maureen. Welcome. 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 I'm glad you're able to catch it. Thank you. Heather, good night. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk later. Bye. Okay. So Cure the Cuba has notes of, I think a lot of you will like this fragrance. Anise, licorice, oh, Sicilian lemon, spearmint, sage, lavender. Uh, what, do you guys know what pelagon Pelargonium is? Because it was here and it was in a rose one too. Um, Ylang, magnolia, coriander, tobacco, hay, patchouli, cedar, musk, civet. Mm. This even has like a chocolatiness to it. Oh, it smells good. Because I can smell the spearmint. It's kind of savory, but oh, it's just so good. And it's cure, which is like leather. But there is no leather note in the note breakdown. Let me spell it. <laughs> Pella. I can. Let me see. Pelargonium. I don't know why I smell that. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I missed this. Hey, Mohammed. Welcome. Um, have you tried any perfumes from you? I haven't. Not from either of those. I tried Alma Pure from Moresque, Mar and I'm really interested in exploring this. Okay, I have been interested in trying some unique E fragrances. A good friend of mine really loves the chocolate makes me happy one. He swears by it, and I do love chocolate scents. Oh, I forgot Stormy was here. Oh, she's sleeping. Um, and I want to try that one so bad, along with the whole set. So I'm glad you mentioned it and reminded me. M Moresque, I haven't heard of, I don't think, and I haven't tried. So I'll look into that. Alma Pure. I'll have to look into that. You don't like, come on. I know you don't. But don't you like, I would black candy, D'Angelo. Don't you like that one? Ugh. Oh, it's geranium. Why don't they just say geranium then? Because some other fragrance says geranium. I think the rose one says... Or I'm, I'm probably making that up. It doesn't say it. So Pelargonium is geranium. Thank you, Kyle. Also, welcome. Yes, welcome. <laughs> English, please. <laughs> okay, so someone said, I think it's a floral. Um, See, I didn't know this. This is great. Thank you, guys. I had no idea. Oh, Nats is here. Girl, when did you come? When did you? Did I? Did I miss something? When did you come? Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, it is geranium. Thank you so much. Uh, see, learning something new every day. I had to look that look that up and see what it smells like. Diam Diad Diadema? Is that from Morask as well? <gasps> you have to let me know what you think, D'Angelo, because I, I really, I really want to try it. Okay. They, okay, so I thought you liked it for some reason, um, but yes, that one is trash. Um, but this one is very interesting, I think, because it has the, all those green notes and the spearmint. This is not closed. And what else does it have? The hay and tobacco. I think you will like this one, D'Angelo. Don't don't sleep on this. If you have an opportunity to try it, cure Cuba Intense, try it, because I don't think the anise and the what is it, anise and uh, licorice is very like cloying or anything. I think it's great, I think it's great. I know, right, dropping knowledge. Oh, I didn't know, sorry. Oh, I appreciate you coming by though and sticking sticking with us. It's trash, D'Angelo, it's, it's garbage. And not like in the worst way, in the worst way. I am so smart. Is this some sort of language? Like a, like a, I don't know, some sort of elf language? I don't know. Okay, so you would try it. Uh, yeah, it was, okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad it did not break. And good thing they have strong bones. Did it, did it fall on tile? Like hard floor or carpet? 
Yeah, I don't know what she said. Um, you sure did. And we were all there to watch and laugh hysterically. <laughs> Thanks for doing that for our entertainment. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the last, well, yeah, kind of the last bottle I'm going to talk about. And this one is um, from Joram Studio. Uh, Joram, I feel like it's a underrated house and no one ever talks about them. They're a house based out of um, Scotland. They're in Edinburgh. And you guys know I lived in Scotland for a while. So I was able to communicate with them very easily. Unfortunately, I never got to visit them in, in Edinburgh because of the pandemic. Um, but if it wasn't for, for the pandemic, we would have been there having tea and crumpets or, you know, whatever they do. Um, so this one is Phantosmia. This is also one that I was sent a sample and it was a love at first sniff. It's such a unique fragrance. It's just, uh, it's, you know what, let me spray it. I wasn't gonna spray it, but I have to. Okay, so. Yes, I think they were speaking uh, Elvish for sure, for sure. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, break oh okay that makes sense i get it they're always i'm telling you if you can get a, a, a discovery set from joram do it uh i can't i had oh here they are i have most of my joram in this box because i'm wanting to do like a dedicated video on the fragrances that i have i think right now i may have the whole collection in form of bottles and travel sprays minus the um Psychoterratica collection. I only have two of those, but um, yeah, I highly recommend that. And then they're so sweet. Yuen is the perfumer, and um, I, I don't know if they're they're his partner Chloe. Uh, they're kind of partners and in, in the business as well, and they're so friendly and so sweet. And I just I just love them. I just love them. Um, let's see. Okay. You have to try them, you must. But this one, let me pull up the notes because their note breakdowns are usually very, very unique. Um, their fragrances also smell very natural. And I feel like the beauty in Joram fragrances is that they're able to capture the essence of Scotland in a bottle. And each of their fragrances smell so different from each other. Um, let me pull up the notes here, Fantas. Mm, there we go. Okay, so uh, it has black pepper, cardamom, mate, pimento, shisho. Come on now. Who, who does that? Who puts that in their fragrance? Uh, fennel, white oud, saffron, carcarilla, nutmeg, tobacco, and castorium. This one here, guys. Uh, and this is also one. Like, some people do, you know, know Joram. But I feel like out of their collection, this one's one of the least talked about as well. And I, oh gosh, it smells so good. And when I have a reaction like this, like it's very special, I guess is what I should say. This is a, such a unique fragrance and it's very peppery, but green and fresh, but it's, it's also aromatic. With a little bit of sweetness. The oud in here is very clean. I don't know what white oud is, but it's very clean. It's earthy. It's spicy. It's it's just it's everything. And uh, you guys need to try this. You guys need to try this one. Oh gosh. It's and it's very hard to describe. Um, yeah, this one. Let me see. I can't reach. Oh, yes, I can. Ooh. This is one that I recently got as well. Athenaeum. And this one is quite popular. And I see a lot of posts on Instagram about this one. This one's like a lavender honey patchouli fragrance. And it's also really cozy, very beautiful. But to me, Phantasmia is, to me, just head and shoulders above this one. And this one is the one that everyone talks about. So if you can get a sample, you need to try it. I'm talking about um, Phantosmia by Joram Studio. 
Here's the cover, here's the name, J-O-R-U-M Studio. And the fragrance is, let me, I'll type it in here. Fantas Mia. Like I said, drawing fragrances are, to me, very, very special. And I guess while I have this, I'll just, <laughs> who knows this box? All of you guys should know where I got this box. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's what that's what I'm getting that herbalness from. No. Where did I where did I put the? Oh gosh. Oh here it is. Oh, it's so good. It's it. It's one of those. It's okay. It's one of those that just makes me really happy because it's it just smells so special, so unique. I have never smelled anything like it. I mean, it's it's just good. Because you've come across unique fragrances that smell like weird, but this just smells beautiful. And it just makes me sad that no one talks about it. Yeah, Phantasmia, I typed it there. Um, I, I guess, I mean, they're, no, they're not the same. They're not similar, but I mean, I'm team Phantasmia all the way, all the way. <laughs> um, no, these are the 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 decant boxes. If you buy these, this this one was maybe the two mil or three mil. Well, they send it to you in a box like this. <laughs> um, but these are um. <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the party. Um. Mm, I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, so for my dorm, this is my dorm studio collection. I have samples here, so I'm lucky I was able to try the entire line. There are a couple of couple here that I do want to get hopefully in the future, um, but they do have 15 mil bottles, which I think is really nice because you're so easy to travel with. Um, one of them fell and that one is Nectary. And I've spoken about that on one of my videos where I talk about uh, fragrance samples that resulted in full bottle purchases. And Nectary was one of them. Uh, it's a beautiful peachy rose, it's animalic, very sexy, but very elegant. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, I have Arborist, which is a very interesting one. Um, here you go. This one. When I sampled it versus where I wore it on my skin after I bought this was two different things, but it's very, very challenging. One of the most challenging fragrances I've ever tried simply because it smells like sweaty skin. Sweaty skin. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. It just is just on the floor. Um, welcome, Lulu. Ugh, it's not broken, but you know, it's still there. Um Maureen, if you don't try any, Nectary is just, I don't know anyone who's tried Nectary and not like it, but people don't try it because they don't, they haven't heard of it, right? So Nectary is just stunning. If you can look at the note breakdown and see if it's something you may like, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I love it so much. Um, yes. Okay. So Arborist, actually, I want to talk about Arborist for a bit because on paper and on skin is, like I said, very, very different because it smells like sweaty skin. So the notes here, I wonder what in here smells like sweaty skin because nothing here looks, am I going to look at the right thing? Yeah, Arborist. So it has notes of saffron, fir, myrrh, nard, Himalayan, papyrus, labdanum, osmanthus, spruce, lichen, lichen, uh, kints, burdock, Malt, honey, rose, magnolia, tuberose. <sighs> I'm gonna spray it just to remind myself, but this one is... Yes, okay, Tara, thanks for coming by. Have a good night and get ready to, to teach those kids, those children. The children are our future. What's, it, what's the Whitney Houston song? Na na na, the children are our future. Teach them why we let them lead the way. Na na na, the children are our future. You know the song. Excuse me, I'm Let me stop because I, I'm just snitching on myself. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> really, I actually enjoyed Balda Balda Freak, Balda Freak. 
<laughs> the freak. Um, yeah, I liked it. I, I don't get the sweaty skin, but I got rid of mine though. So I would have to revisit it to see if I can get that too. But that's really interesting. Um, wait, what did I do? I see indecent. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> You're welcome. I'll, I did it for you, Tara. The greatest love of all. That's it. Yep. Yep. That's it. <laughs> oh, George. I was singing the Whitney Houston version, though, because I don't know the George Benson version. Um. So for you guys, I'm going to spray this. And the thing is that sometimes with these fragrances, because they're so natural, every time you wear it, you could get something different. So yeah, you get this fruity, this, there's a little bit of fruit in it and it could be that kints. I'm not exactly sure what a kints is, but there's, okay, see, this is when it starts to turn. It starts to turn and get very sweaty. So Okay, so it smells like like a lumberjack who's been in a forest. So you get all the woody elements, all the green elements, very natural. And he's been like, he's been working for a while, <laughs> a long while. Um, he smells like this. And there's a little bit of powderiness in here as well that I'm getting, but it's very, very faint. Yeah, that one. Sweaty skin. But it's one that I'm, yeah. Ooh. I don't know why I didn't catch on to this before I bought it. I sampled them before I bought it. But something told me that I liked it when I sampled it. And now it's, 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 it's hard. It's tough. <laughs> you have a talk radio show. Oh, do I? Oh, but after dark. Mm. See, if you tell me this, I'm going to start like trying to put my very white voice, like the woman. No, I sh let me just stop. Yummy. What's yummy? The sweaty skin? You might like this, actually, Michelle. I think you'd appreciate this. Okay, so it is like a fruit. I've never tried kints before. I don't even know if I'm, sm if I'm smelling it, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Oh, really? Okay, thanks. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you. No, this is not for you. Uh, tart. Okay, really tart. So I do get a little bit of that fruitiness in there, but then it just goes woody and a bit like hot, like hot, sweaty skin. But I don't know what in the note breakdown is giving me that. There aren't any like straightforward animalic notes. There's, I don't know what burdock is. Let's look at what burdock is. It's an herb. Um, that's all it says. Green herbs fougeres. Um, so I don't know what that is. So yeah, I mean, if you can try it and you're interested, I recommend it. But you know, I don't know if I'd wear this out in public. <laughs> At least for sure, not in the summertime. For sure, no. Hey Pam, welcome. I know you're doing your live. Are you all done? Oh, I guess you are because you are here. Uh yes, no Barry White. Not Barry White. <laughs> I couldn't even if I tried. <laughs> oh, so it's quince, not kints. See, look, look at us learning something every day. I came on here not expecting to learn anything, and I've learned two things already. Actually, more than that, more than that. Um, okay, yes, 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 yes. Costas, maybe. Let me see. I don't know. I. What's lichen? 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 It's a wood moss. Okay, I can I can get that. I can see that. Um, ooh, I don't know what it is. Fur? It's maybe it's not Nard Himalayan. Um, earthy aromatic herbal note. It can't be that. But anyway, it's I never smell anything like it. it's for sure unique. But I don't think it's one that I would wear regularly. Regularly. <gasps> Burdock is a stinky herb. Maybe it's that then. It could be that. Huh. Okay, now I'm interested in this burdock um, notes or this burdock herb. Um, yeah, very interesting. Okay, so the other two that I have is this part of the Psychoterratica um, collection. So Psychoterratica is a 
joint project uh, between the perfumer and the team at Joram and us who wear the fragrance. So they came out with these, they came out with three. So there's one, two, and three. I only have two and three. And they kind of, after some time, so they release them, you buy them. After some time, they'll ask for your feedback and then they will make slight changes. And they've actually, I have, I have the re, they've changed it a bit, these two. So Psychotratica 2 is very, um, earthy, very green, very citrusy. And it reminds me of hiking in the lush hills in, in Scotland. It's very, very green, very sharp. Um, but it's it's so good. I love wearing this. I, I wore this a lot when I was in Scotland and it just made me feel like I was one with the land. Um, Psychotratica 3 though is a bit challenging because it's super smoky, very oody. There's a coffee note in here, um, but the reformulated version that they, they sent me a sample of both of them, of the new version. And I like this one, but I think I prefer the new version ever so slightly because when they sent us notes about what they're gonna be changing, one of them was they're gonna make this less smoky and less oody. And I was like, no, don't do it. But the sample, they they did a good job. They 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 made the right choice. If it was me, uh, I wouldn't have done it. But I'm glad they did because it's so much more wearable, very refined, the newer one. Um, and when they release it, I'm definitely going to get one of those because it's a very special project and it's only reserved for those who are part of the Psychoterratica project. Anyway, um, let me see. Okay, so honey can become... Musky and sweet. Maybe it's the honey then. It could be the honey. Because Lou says that the that herb smells like moss. Okay. Um, <laughs> my phone keeps going off. I don't know what's happening, but it's it also fell with the fragrance. So um okay. Okay. I haven't tried Amouage Myth, but I think it comes in that very pretty bottle, if I remember correctly. Um, Psychoceratica 3 sounds like my job because the oud. Oh, you missed out on it. But I wonder if you purchased it with Lucky Scent, will you be a part of the project where you, um, the guys, you know, and with Joram send you the reformulated samples? I wonder. I'm not too sure though. Um, the collaborate, oh, this collection, the Psychoceratica collection, you can only find on their site, but it's currently sold out until they actually um mass produce not mass produce but when they make bigger batches of the uh reformulated version so i'm not sure when that's gonna be but they smell real good they smell really good um <laughs> you can get them from i got these uh where did they go um Joram, not Joram, well, Joram Studio, Athenaeum and Phantasmia i got from lucky scent uh they carry them i think Maybe Indigo carries them as well, but I got mine from Lucky Scent. Um, they're both, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Joram, so I think they're just fantastic. And Nectary, guys, Pam, I think you, I think most people will like Nectary if they're okay with a slightly animalic scent. It's not endolic, uh, it's not an endolic floral, um, but there's just a bit of like animalic musk in there that just, it's, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Yeah, thank you for putting that in there. Yes, very helpful. Also, Indie Sense, it's Indie Sense, not Indigo. So it's Indie Sense that has them. So yeah, so you can find it there too. Uh, speaking of Amouage, I initially, I was initially interested in Crimson Rose. Which are really... Okay, I don't know. I don't have that much experience with Amouage, but the ones that I have, I do love. I only know Lyric, Man, Memoir Woman, Sunshine Woman, um, interlude woman. And I think that's about it. And all of those are just great. Great. Okay. What's there? The discovery set? You, you've been ordering a lot of stuff, D'Angelo. I see you. I see you. Okay. So I'm actually almost done. Um, if you guys have any questions about fragrances from Joram, reach out to me. Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Most of you guys here, I think, follow me on Instagram as well. Um, but 
with Lucky Sound Orders, you get fun samples. I got five, and I just want to do first impressions because there's something here that I've been dying to try. And I didn't ask for the sample. Well, I mean, I know I get samples, but I'm really lazy, and I just tell them to pick for me, which is dumb because I ended up getting Patchouli Intense, which I already have, so I'll just give it away. But I got... um. Where is it? I got Bengal Rouge by Papillon. I'm so excited. And then after I saw this in the bag, I was like, damn it. I should have requested more Papillon fragrances. Why didn't I do it? So I'm a bit frustrated about that, but I'm so happy that they sent me Bengal Rouge. So I know now um, if I do order from Lucky Scent again, I'm going to physically order, like pick those. Um <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Pay my friend. <laughs> Keep those $3, Pam. Keep them, please. Please. Oh, uh, yeah. I think with Amouange, you're usually hit or miss fragrances. Bye, Chris. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to be wrapping this up soon anyway. Uh, love Tuberos. Lulu also loves Love Tuberos, if I remember correctly. Hey, Nika. Welcome. How are you? Um, <laughs> yeah. You just, I, I suggest saving those $3, Pam. Please don't do that. Okay, so out of the other samples, I have um, Bogue Mai, which I've heard about the house, but I, I don't know much about their fragrances. Um, bye, Tiki Girl. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great night. Um, so Mai by Bogue. Uh, Parfum de Empire. I haven't tried it. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Because I, to me, this is a very new house. To me. Um, very light. Okay. That's interesting because I, I from my experience, Amouage, just fragrances are very strong. So that's, that's interesting. Yes, I know. Girl, Pam, stop it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Um, as myster mysterious and edible. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I'm gonna save it for last because that's what I'm most excited to try. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why? An MSDS, why? Now I'm worried. Now I am worried. Why? Why? You have samples of which one? Uh, Parfums the Empire? So I have two of them. I have Ombre Russe, Ombre Russe and Cure Ottoman. So let me go ahead and just start trying them now because it's getting late. Okay. Let me stop playing. Let me get a couple of them here. Hey, Nadia. Welcome. How are you? How's it going? Hope you're having a great night so far. Okay, so I'm going to try the Parfums Empire Ombre Russe. I do like amber fragrances, so I'm sure this is going to be great. Um, How do I do this? Do I just... No. When will Lucky Scent actually start using sprayers? Should we do a petition? Call the manager? Write a letter? Because this is unacceptable. Okay. I'm scared I might waste this. Okay. All right. That was successful. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. This is reminding... It's, it's, this one's fruity. <laughs> I was expecting amber. Because it's called amber roots. But I'm getting very fruit... Something, something is in there that I'm not sure. It smells nice, actually, but there's, it's like a, kind of reminds me of a, like a, like a, like a candied fruit and rum type thing. That's what I'm getting here. Oh, that could be, that could be it. That could be it. Okay. Um, try them with me if you haven't tried them already. Okay, Michelle, I'll wait for you. Grab them now. Right meow. Right, right meow. Okay, we're going to do it. I'll, I'll, I'll write one up and I'll send it to them. 
I'm sure they make enough money to get sprayers. They can even get the plastic ones. That's fine. Everyone else does it. How come they can't? Yes. Yeah, this one has some sort of, like, I can't get over the fruitiness in it. So far, I'm not getting anything really ambery. But it's bright. Fruit. And I don't know if it's, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's rum. Because it's not as thick as rum, a rum note or what I would expect a rum or cognac note to be, if that makes sense. But it does have like a, a I don't want to say boozy quality, but maybe. But I'm not getting any amber. I'm, maybe patchouli. I don't know. I'm going to... Amber... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'm looking at the... um the arborist thing, and it says, arborists present a unique blend of raw flowers, botanicals, resin sap, underwood, and surprising forest fruits, resolutely sylvan and intriguingly multifaceted with more than a hint of human skin, oily tool and distilling elixirs haunting from afar. So hey, that, that sweaty skin is, I guess it was it's intentional. <laughs> okay, so ambre. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it has notes. <gasps> oh, okay. So it has notes of vodka, champagne. Vodka? I don't think I ever smelled the fragrance with vodka. Okay, Russian leather cinnamon, which is why I was getting that like candied, like stewed type of fruit. I don't know. Tea. I kind of get the tea, coriander, birch, juniper, amber, incense, musk, and wait, I think that's it. It's amber, incense, and musk. I don't know if I like, the, I mean, it's nice, but I don't think this is one that I would see. Okay, you get cognac and spice. Yeah, okay. See, I'm not crazy. Um, <gasps> my day. Thanks for coming by. I know it's late. What are you doing up, girl? Thanks for coming by. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to have person flows. That person. We should write a petition to free them from that task. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're getting like a boozy note. So it's vodka and champagne. So that's unique. But it also says that it's supposed to be a smoky fragrance, a smoky and leather. I'm not really getting either of those. But again, I'm just testing it on the paper. So maybe on skin, it would do something different. But I think I would give it a, a chance because it's not off-puttingly boozy. As you guys know, I sh sometimes struggle with super boozy scents. So yeah, it's okay. I've tried. Okay, so you tried similar things. Okay. Um, girl, and you just not came? <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna try the other one, Cure Ottoman, and then Michelle, we can try the um, what is it? The the Mai together. Um, just wait. I'm gonna use the end of this one. Okay. Okay. How do I do this? I'm just gonna stick this in here. Yes. <laughs> Innovation. Oops. Okay, so this is Cure Ottoman, so I'm expecting leather and maybe spices. Hmm. I think I like this one so far. This one's sweet, but there's there's something here. There's something here that I don't know how I feel about it because it kind of smells like... <laughs> So, okay, I get leather, yes, but I get more of like a, I don't know if this is meant to be animalic, but I'm getting like a, um, like a horse saddle leather. Yeah, like it smells like a dirty horse saddle. Are horse saddles even made of leather? I don't know. Okay, so you have this. Oh, that's when you came in. 
<laughs> Ooh. Uh, it's currently really. It has some sweetness in here, but I can't really. Do you find it animalic, Michelle? But it's sweet and is it fruity? Hmm. I'm just gonna look up the notes. I'm gonna look it up. Cure. What is it? What is it? Cure Ottoman. Wait. Yeah. Cure. Ottoman. Here we go. Um. Okay, so it is considered animalic. Oh, it's I Iris is a top note, guys. Look at this. So Iris, Labanum, Egyptian Jasmine, Leather, Tolu Balsam, Benzoin, Styrax, Incense, Vanilla, and Tonka Bean. And the main accords does say that it is animalic. Amber, leathery, powder, warm, spicy, iris, vanilla, balsamic, smoky, animalic, sweet. Is there, what's the sweetness that I'm getting? Maybe it's from the benzoin and styrax. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this anymore, though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like it. Hello, Lou. Welcome. Oh, so it smells like the straps that go on the saddle. And maybe got a little bit of, um, you know, horse stuff on it. <laughs> okay, so on the paper, I'm getting, like, animalicness. And maybe on my skin, it'll be different. But, um, oh, my God, I just remembered that there was something I wanted to talk about that I completely forgot. <laughs> maybe, we'll see. I'll see how you guys are feeling afterwards. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try is Bogue. My by Bogue. And I'm getting my scent strips mixed up. This, I'm not sure if that has anything in it. Because these have something in it. I think these are clean. Oh, nope, that has something on it. Let me just get new ones. Okay, so I'm trying Bogue My Michelle. So if you have that one, let's get it. I don't know what to expect, honestly, from this one. <gasps> maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pro. I think, I think that's it. Okay, so. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, um, I think I like this one. I think I'm gonna like it. Let me try and. Jeez. Okay. Do you have dabbers, uh, Michelle, or do you have sprayers? Okay. Oh. I like this one. Michelle, what are your thoughts? Tell me. You should come on here, girl. Okay, so. I don't even know how to describe this one, but it's, I'm getting some, oh, we had the same reaction. <laughs> Okay, so this one is very interesting. It has some herbaceous qualities to it. Maybe some florals, but very earthy. Mm, I like this a lot, a lot. So far, I, I really love this one. Mm. Okay, so similar deepness to... I haven't tried Salome, but your girl's about to try Bengal Rouge soon. <laughs> yes, Michelle, we need to make something happen, especially now that you have a channel. We need to get something together. Okay, so Michelle, are you getting anything else out of this one? To me, very herbally. A tiny, like a, a, a dash of sweetness earthy, even something smoky, incense, maybe? Hmm. Hey, Aussie Fragrance. Hi. No problem. We've been, at, we've been at it for about an hour and a half, so no problem. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm going to look up the notes to this one. I'm smelling uh, Bogue. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Bogue Mai. Okay, so I'm going to look up the names. I like this one a lot. A lot. Okay. Musky, floral, animalic, aldehydes, uh, 
amber powdery tuberose. Ooh, okay, so it has aldehydes. Okay, tuberose, jasmine, uh, rose, civet, resins, and musk. I like this one. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm getting something smoky and incense -y, but that's not there. I know, right? Hey, Lisa, by the way, I didn't see you come in. Um, yeah, I do get something incense -y, but there's nothing like that in the note breakdown. Um, I really like this one. I bet you this one's expensive too. I just, I just know it. I just know it's expensive. I don't think from the, like automatically I would have guessed there were aldehydes in it, but I mean, it's there and I can kind of get it, but it's not super strong, but this might do. You have, you, everyone, you guys have to try this one. I cannot wait to try this on my skin. For shits and giggles, I'm going to see how much it costs. Cause I just, let me see. Cause Lucky Scent sometimes, some of the fragrances there just boggle, boggle my mind how expensive they are. So Bogue. Oh, I really like this, guys. Okay, so they have, what, seven fragrances on Lucky Scent. Bogue is, or Maya's here. Um, oh, well, it's not that bad, but it's $200 for 50 mil. It says now shipping my late 2020 edition. I don't know what that means. Oh gosh. So the notes on, on Fragrantica and the notes on Lucky Scent are a bit different. The Lucky Scent one says tuberose, rose, jasmine, ylang, civet, castorium, hyracium, dried fruits, sandalwood, and oak moss. Um, so that's interesting. Wow. Well, yeah, it's not the Agla of expense. Good point. <laughs> yeah, I think there are different kinds of uh, aldehydes. So I was watching Making a Stink, Camille and Chris, and they were talking about on one of their videos how there are different kinds of aldehydes that can give off um, different nuances. I don't know specifically which is which, but I mean, I just know that, so... Jeez, this is great. And I'm totally getting incense. Totally getting incense, but it's not there. This is great. This is great. Right? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing it's the one that they're shipping out. It's the one that they have in stock. I don't know. Um, okay, so now this one is the one I'm looking forward to trying the most, which is Bengal Rouge. I know. Bogue is about to have all my monies, all of it. Okay. Um, yeah, this is great. So this is Bengal Rouge. And this would be the first Papillon fragrance I've ever tried. And it's been one that's been on my list forever. I don't know what's been stopping me from trying. Oh, these. Eek. Okay. So I don't remember which one's the Bengal Rouge one. I know Anubis is one that has been highly recommended. Um, okay, so my is going to love this one. I hope so. I've been holding out on this all day. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh. This is great. I... Uh, you know that emoji with the money with wings? That should be just, just flying away. All my money is gone. Cause Papillon is also not one that's cheap. Wow, this is this is great. Wait, did I close it? Okay. Oh, this is great, guys. Who else have tried um what is this? Bengal Rouge. Oh, this is good. I am going to look it up. Bengal Rose. Oh, wait. Did I say Bengal Rose? It's Bengal Rouge. My bad. Mm, okay, so it is. <laughs> it's funny because all the pictures here on Fragrantica are pictures of cats with a bottle of Bengal Rouge. So it's myrrh, honey, tonka bean, Turkish rose, vanilla, and sandalwood. This one is great. Okay. Wow. 
<sighs> okay, yeah, um, Maite, I think you will appreciate um, my for sure. What, did it change? Oh gosh, let me, I can't, I can't, I can't right now, I can't. So Liz Morse is the, the perfumer, right? Oh goodness, okay, so, wait. <laughs> which one is this Bengal Rouge you're talking about, Michelle? Or no, you have Salon. I don't know which one you have. Uh, yes, yeah, so just, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yes, I think you'll like it, um, Lulu. This one's really, it's, it's so, the texture is like, it's not light, but it's not thick. Um, I guess this is considered an indie brand as well, but a lot of the times with indie brands, most of them, not all the time, but a lot of them, uh, they tend to have a thicker texture, but this one is like, <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. I can totally see that. I can totally see that. Oh man, this is great. Um, yeah, yeah. Tiger Tiger is great. Someone came on earlier and said they didn't like Francesca Bianchi and my heart about broke. <laughs> shattered into a million pieces um okay so the last sample i have here is uh in patchouli intense by perfume nikolai but i already have a bottle of that and i love it it's a fresh spicy kind of old school semi barbershop fougere but not really uh scent mm, mm. It's, yeah it's, it's wait yeah that's it it's Great, so I'm gonna save this and give it away. Um, pedal why, pedal why, what? What happened? What happened? Okay, so the thing I was telling you, okay, how are you guys? I know we've been here for a while. Um, we're at an hour and 36 minutes. I just wanna talk about, uh, since Maite is here, because this is all Maite's fault. Oh my God. Okay, so I found this out that Lulu does not like Tiger Tiger. I, I don't know which video you talked about it. And I didn't get a chance to look through, but can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I don't know. I think they didn't they didn't find a good one, a, a good one that they like. But they said something like uh, Francesca Bianchi's fragrances would be better if she didn't add like animalics to it or something. And I was like, wait, you're in a group of like a bunch of people who love Francesca fragrances. So, okay. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Um, yes. Yeah, so if you guys saw the, uh, best fragrance purchase of 2020 collaboration that was posted on my channel that featured a bunch of, uh, creators, Oh, so the peach got rotten. Okay, I can see it because it is quite sweet. So, okay, I, I can I can see how that could happen. Um, right, exactly. Uh, so in that collaboration, Maite talked about a fragrance and she's been talking to me about it for a while. And I've been curious and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go on a hunt and I'm gonna find some things, okay? Some vintage fragrances. So what Maite talked about was, um, Miss Dior is like a vintage Miss Dior uh, eau de toilette. I'm still not sure exactly what year this was. I think Maite said something about the 80s and I saw something about the 50s and 60s. So I'm still unsure and it's my fault because I didn't get it with the box and I'm stupid. Um, but yes, uh, wait, you did a review and I'm featured. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, yeah, yeah, to me, the fruit note on my skin was very prominent, so I can see how it can be, it can, it can go funny, because it is quite sweet and syrupy, um, but I think it's, I think it's gorgeous, I loved it, I love it a lot, a lot, a lot, okay, so peach is funny on you, um, yeah, so, yes, I got me a bottle of this guy, it just looks, doesn't it look cute, I mean, it looks, it looks old and it smells old too. Um, and while I was at it and doing my search, 
This is the Eau de Cologne <laughs> of Miss Dior. And this, guys, is a 16-ounce bottle. And I got it for, like, 50 bucks on Macari. So, and, the, oh, shit. Speaking of prices, can you guys guess how much I paid for this? This is a 54 mil uh, fragrance of a vintage formulation. Can you guess? Just, just guess how much I got this one for. Just, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys guess there. Um, the, no, the batch, the batch code for these. One, wait, I'm seeing something. No, 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 no. I heard the batch codes for these fragrances are on the boxes, and the thing is, I didn't get it with the box. So, uh, okay, I'll, I'll go look at it um, after the live. Uh, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> it's like almost the size of my face, and I have a big face. Uh, yeah, it's obnoxious. Um, <laughs> no, they do have batch code, but they're on the boxes instead of like etched on the bottle. And there's no sticker. This just has like a 16. Uh oh, princess is here. What's she about to do? Okay, just chill. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it just has the size of the bottle and it says 16 ounces with the CD here for Christian Dior, obviously. And so I just want to, yes, it's, that's what she said. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. So yeah, this one is the one that I've been spraying or been testing over the past couple days. I just got this yesterday. So I wore it yesterday and I wore it this morning. Um, I decanted it into a small, um, vial so it's easy to to because i mean like uh, the hole or the hole i'm a child sorry is very big and i don't know who can that like i don't know how to dab that so i use a little squeezy thingy uh what do you call not a pipette but like the the rubber ones and i stuck it i just filled this up and i wore this it's easier it's just easier um but yeah girl I will, I will talk about how it smells, but yes, I can share this with the world, literally. Um, so Maite is here, so she knows um, uh, kind of more of the note breakdown than I do. I'm just going by what she said by memory, and I don't have good memory. So um, <laughs> my mind is always in the gutter, okay? So sometimes I have to stop myself, like, hey, chill. Chill out. You're an adult. Stop it. <laughs> so... This one is very, the, so the Eau de Cologne is very loud in the aldehydes, okay? Let me put this down here. It's um kind of screechy and I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna just open it and see. Ooh, yeah, so it, it smells old, guys. It smells like an old, it smells dated, but like in the best way. And because the opening is so loud and screechy, I don't know if it's because my bottle is old and maybe the top notes have gone. I don't know, but there's definitely some top notes happening because it's it's loud. I just think it's like an overdose of aldehydes in the opening, in my opinion. But it dries, like after that aldehydic blast tones down a bit, then it is, it's really nice, guys. It's very, oh, see, like, the opening is very intense, very loud. Ooh, child. Okay, I need to give it a minute. But after, literally after a minute, it just settles down and becomes this like, this floral, I don't know if it's jasmine. Maita, can you help me out please on what the, no I mean, this is the Eau de Cologne, so I know they're gonna be slightly different. Um, okay, so you've tried, are you, no, you haven't tried or you have tried it? Haven't, okay, haven't tried it. So yeah. I would say the EDT is also a floral sheep, but it's okay. So now, oh gosh, then it, it becomes something so magical. It has this really vintage soapy quality that most sheepers have in that time in that era, or just most sheepers in general. Mm, and it's it's just it smells so opulent. It smells rich. It smells like this beautiful blend of florals, which I'm I'm gonna guess there's some jasmine in here as well. But in the dry down is what I like the most because there's this smokiness. So it does like a 180 where it starts off really bright, but the dry down is quite smoky. And, um, oh yeah, okay, yes. It also got a little bit of stank to it. 
a little bit of stink to it. So yes, I don't know if it's the leather or maybe there is some civet in here. I'm not exactly sure to be honest. I need to do more research, but yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Nika, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one, I'm so happy. Thank you, Maita, for planting the seed in my brain. Um, but I'm kind of obsessed. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's great. It's great. Um, I can send out samples. <laughs> I have many. So if you're interested in trying the Eau de Cologne of the Miss Yore, just to have an idea, because I think it's nice to kind of just try things that were made back in the day, just to kind of see how things have developed perfumery wise and to also see where a lot of modern fragrances get their inspiration from. So I can see a lot of similarities to fragrances that I have now that are in here, but just like little characteristics here and there. But God damn, this one is good. I wore this this morning while I had my coffee and I posted a video. So while I was doing that stuff and I was just on cloud nine. So this is the one that Maite has, which is the Eau de Toilette. Maite, do they have a parfum or an Eau de Parfum in this? Because I might have to get it. So this one's a bit smaller, so I've been very stingy with it and I haven't been, I think I only dabbed like a tiny bit on my skin um, yesterday, but I, I don't wanna decant it for some reason because it's not that much. I should just decant it or just figure out how to use this properly. Um, Mm. So this one is very similar to the uh, Eau de Cologne, but it's not as loud. Let me close it before I drop it. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> um, but it's not as, the opening is not as screechy and loud. It's definitely more round. It has more depth. And it has that, like Maitha said, that dirty musk in it. It's floral. It's just a it's just a, a beautiful vintage style Shebra. Um yeah, I think, Mark, those are not vintage. Um, they're like modern um, modern formulations. Uh, if, well, maybe, maybe, well, maybe your sacks does. But my sacks, if you go into the Dior section, they have like the, the exclusive Dior. And then they have, like in the back, they have like the vintage style, but they're, they're not vintage formulations. They're kind of have the same vintage bottle style, but the juice inside is more... Um, is more, you know, it was made now, you know. Uh, but I did try Diorissimo or Diorissimo or Ma. And I, I did like that one. I like that one a lot. Yes, girl, that bottle's huge. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Maite said it. Um, sorry, I'm behind in the comments. Um, where do you find those? So I got these. So I got this from eBay. Oh, yeah, you guys didn't guess how much I paid for this. Guys, what the hell? I want you guys to guess because I think I got it for a steal. A steal. Um, so I got this one from um, eBay. And then I got I got this from Macari. And I paid like 50 bucks for this. Uh, guess who's here, girl? Hey. Say hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. So the parfum, yes, it's going to be more concentrated, but I, I want to experience that at least. Even if it's a small mini, I want to try. And I'm also looking for a vintage uh, Mitsuko parfum. So if anyone knows where I can get one for a decent price, let me know. I've seen some around. But yeah, they're they're kind of pricey. Ooh, if you find it, let me know. I know that's gonna be a good one. 55. So we have 55. It's less than that, girl. 30. Good, good, good try. Good guess, but less. Uh yeah, Stormy. She's here. 50, less than 50. Mm -mm. Um, haven't tried any. Yeah, okay. Yes, let both of us know. We have a chat, so just throw it in the chats. We'll see. Uh, I worry about, yeah, so of course that is a major risk when buying vintage perfumes is that you don't know how they were stored and what type of environment they were. And I honestly took a risk and the first, I got both of them on the same day by chance. And the first one I got was this by UPS 
And when I tried it, I was like, oh, okay. It's very, that top note, because it's so screechy, I was like, I'm not sure. But then when I tried the Eau de Toilette, they were very similar. Just this one's more toned down on that loud screechy aldehydic opening. And this one's also a bit more rounder. So I was confident that they're legit, one, and two, that they're pretty, they're stored pretty well. Um, less than that, less than that, less than that. You'd be surprised, but less than that, <laughs> $12. Okay, so I'm gonna just tell y'all. Um, oh, okay. Bye. Have a good night. Uh, rest well. And again, happy new year. Thank you so much for coming by. Um, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how much I got it for. Um, I oh my are you leaving? I got this one for $14.50. I no, sorry, $15. It was $14.50. Um, and it was a bid, so I was like, you know what? Let me not do $14.50. Let me just do $15. <laughs> and I'll just keep an eye on it. And if someone else bids on it, I'll go because I really wanted it and I, I would have paid way more for it, but nobody bid on it. Nobody bid on it. So $15 and I had a $5 coupon on eBay. Guys, like I just, I saw it and I was like, I'm just getting it. I don't care. I'm going to get it. What's the worst that can happen is only essentially $10. So yeah. Um, yes, Maita sent me that link and I was on it, but a lot of the characteristics of the, uh, of the, I guess, being able to tell when it was made was on the box and I don't have the box. And I think this one, because it has the, the 54 mil here, I think I can easily date this one. I need to go back in that um, forum and see, but yes, yes, super cheap, super duper cheap. Um, there isn't, no, no, these older bottles don't have the batch codes on the bottles or normally on the box. And I don't have the box, unfortunately. Ooh, girl, you made it. You made it. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. I appreciate you. Maida, 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 Maida is responsible for a lot of my purchases. So I'm gonna be sending you an invoice uh to pay my bills because i'm wasting my money buying fragrances that you're making me buy also yes hi tenzin how rude of me i didn't know when you came in thank you and tenzin i know you're really into vintage formulas and stuff do you know anyone um who knows a lot about uh miss dior just your vintage fragrances in general um mm, it's just so good guys like I said, if you guys, like, I'm willing to share because there's no way in hell in my entire lifetime that I will ever go through this in many lifetimes. So if um, you guys are interested, just, just, just send me a message. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, month and year, but you really just find. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm just trying to find, like, what decade is my what I'm concerned about, or not concerned, but what I'm more curious about. I know I won't get a, like a month and year, um, but just the decade, whether it's the 60s, 70s, whatever. He does, yes. Because uh, <laughs> she's busy hanging out with me, Tenzin, where you were supposed to be. But you came late. Uh, oh, it did. How did it make you sick? Please share. Because I've kind of been so ever since i've been searching these up i have uh <laughs> i've been searching up vintage guerlains i've been searching up poison as well vintage poisons i've been searching up um uh the other miss dior the one that comes in a rectangular bottle i think it's a dabber as well um and what else you should just see my ebay search it's ridiculous right now and i have no one but my to think. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so it literally smells like poison. <laughs> well, maybe that's what it's supposed to smell like. And the poison that we have is just like a, uh, you know, mass appealing version of, the, I don't know. Dana. Okay. I wonder, I mean, 
Dana is like a celebrity in my eyes, right? So I don't know if she will respond to my message. I'm going to try it. Thanks, Kyle. I'm definitely going to try um, messaging Dana. I follow her on Instagram. I don't know if she follows me back. So it may go into her like, you know, stranger danger folder. I don't know. But uh, I'll I'll definitely try that out. Thank you so much, Kyle. Uh, pressure straight that. So how, how do you like the smell? Do you... Was it stored well? Do you think it really it maintained its formulation or do you think it changed or went bad? I'm curious. <laughs> Not anymore? Why? Uh, I guess I guess the style is dated. I guess that's why. Um like okay, so oh my phone is on the floor. I wish Stormy had fingers and hands so she can give me my phone because she's down there. Um let me take a screenshot of that. Okay, got it. Um, I've never heard of that one, but I will look into that. I'm just, yeah, um, yes, that's exactly what's happened. <laughs> and I know you're in it, Tenzin. I know you're in it, and now I am there with you. Um, okay, that's awesome. That's so cool. So I love that. Okay, so we have a few people here who do search out some vintage. So, um, yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to look into that YSL though. I'm very curious. Vintage. I saw, um, Camille and, and, uh, Chris on, uh, the stink, make, making a stink. They just did a video where they talked about fragrances from the seventies and they, they sampled opium. And I was like, okay, now I need <laughs> opium. And I did look some up, uh, but I haven't found any that I think, uh, I would, um, get, but, uh, that's also <laughs> why. <laughs> What have I done? Now I'm, I'm telling you, like, I'm going to have a bunch of dusty old perfume bottles to replace all of this stuff. Just watch. Okay. So Dana is approachable. I mean, she, she seems very approachable. I'm just kind of nervous. Cause like I said, to me, she's like a celebrity. So, um, ooh, I'll be nervous, but I'll reach out to her and see. Yes. You know, the, the folder on your Instagram, when someone who messages you, but doesn't follow you, the message goes in this like folder. I call it the stranger danger folder. <laughs> yeah, so I know you, I think you have that, Maite. And yes, I need to try. So your body chemistry has changed. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, I got scammed on someone listed a vintage version of Prada Canyon eBay. It turned out to be right. Oh. That's whack. I didn't even know that they had a vintage like um, uh, product candy. But that sucks. So that's also another thing with seeking out vintage stuff is you can easily get scammed, especially if you are kind of like I could have easily gotten scammed with these two purchases. I don't believe I have been because they smell very, <laughs> very vintage. Um but yeah, like I said, it's it's definitely a risk. You can risk getting a poor bottle, a, a, a bottle that was poorly stored, so the juice is ruined, or you can get one that's maybe filled with piss instead of actual fragrance. So there's that. <gasps> Which one, opium? I know, I think you have opium, girl. Yes, 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 yes. Which one? Okay, you, you have to, you can't just say you got your first vintage bottle and not tell me which one. Tell me, Mario, please, come on. Um, Carla, who's Carla? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, you have to be really careful. Oh, sorry, I just came at you. My bad. <laughs> okay, so Moods Uomo by Krizia. Oh, I love patchouli, so... Let me take a screenshot of that too. <laughs> I am a mess. My big sister has been wearing opium forever, the first luxury. Oh, okay, yeah. So what year did opium come out? I'm wondering. Okay, yes, Carla, please send me her page because I'm, I'm not familiar. I probably follow her, but. Uh, Crazy is so, okay. So, well, I'm, yeah, I have a screenshot, so I'll be seeking that too, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a risk, Pam. It's definitely a risk. For me, I'm willing to take that risk um, with fragrance. I mean, I can just wash it off. But yeah. Um, yeah. 
Uh, it has been kept well. Big patchouli spicy florals. Don't know when I'll wear it, but it's a wild one. But it's nice that you have it there and you can always smell it when you feel like it. And it's something that I think will hold us value. So it's it's a it's a gem, a treasure. Bye, Lulu. Thanks for stopping by. I think I am going to be wrapping this up soon, actually. We're coming on two hours. I think it's a good time to wrap up. Um, like I said, if you guys are interested in this um, EDC, I'm not sharing this one unless I can find a bottle like this. But I don't think they have a 16 ounce eau de toilette because it's, um, yeah, I, this, even this, like <laughs> when I saw the listing on Macari, I was like, 16 ounces. Hmm offer <laughs> and lo and behold 16 freaking ounces um okay so yeah it's old 1977 okay cool 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 cool. all right Maite, thank you so much for coming by uh we'll talk later we have a lot to talk about anyway so yeah we'll talk later yes everyone we are calling it a night Thank you again for those who are watching in the playback. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Before you guys leave tonight, please go ahead and like the video. It helps me a lot. Um, thank you guys again for coming by. This was a lot of fun. It's always fun. It's always fun. Um, be safe out there. Happy New Year. Stay blessed. And we'll talk later. Bye.